Hi, I'm Adam Yenser, and welcome to the Cancelled News. According to new policies here in Los Angeles, you can only watch if you're vaccinated. This week's episode is brought to you by new Ladies Ivermectin. Ladies Ivermectin, strong enough for a horse, but made for a woman. Please be sure to like and subscribe, because here's the thing, I've started making YouTube shorts out of some of my jokes, and last week my Larry Elder joke got 13,000 views, but I only got 60 more subscribers which means some of you were watching and enjoying, but not liking and subscribing like you were supposed to. And Newsom won, so some of you weren't vote for Larry Eldering like you were supposed to either. I want to start this week by mentioning something I should have mentioned in last week's episode. That one aired on 9-11, so that was my special September 11th 20th anniversary show. I should have said that last week, but I just forgot. I oh, don't laugh at 9-11. And now this week turned out to be even sadder than last week because the funniest person in the world, Norm MacDonald, passed away. I didn't yeah. even know he was sick. Norm was honestly the funniest person alive. There is no comedian who laugh for laugh was more brilliant and hilarious than Norm MacDonald. A lot of people have been sharing their favorite Norm MacDonald clips and moments, but the truth is you can't really pick a favorite because they're all the best. The moth joke is the best. His last set on Letterman is the best. His Bob Saget roast jokes are the best. His weekend update segments are the best. Dirty work is okay. His podcast is the best. Do yourself a favor and watch them all. Now here's what's in the news. Last Saturday, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and Bill Clinton attended a 9-11 memorial service at Ground Zero. Donald Trump visited New York City police and firefighters in Manhattan, and Bush did 9-11. You scroll up a little? Remarks at the Flight 93 Memorial in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Newly declassified 9-11 documents confirm that Saudi Arabia helped the hijackers, and one Saudi diplomat in Los Angeles even let two hijackers stay in his apartment. Apparently the hijackers told him they needed a place to crash. They were allowed to stay at his apartment until one of them blew up the bathroom. Upon confirming that the 9-11 hijackers received help from Saudi Arabia, the U.S. is considering reinvading Afghanistan. Speaking of Afghanistan, this week the Taliban officially banned biological males and biological females from participating in women's sports. Gavin Newsom survived California's recall election in a blowout victory. I thought I saw a Newsom rally on my street on Tuesday, but it was just the 150 homeless people who permanently live there. Newsom was helped by mail-in ballots, which made it easier for Californians to vote from their dirty blanket forts. A Mexican rapper named Goldilocks had dreadlocks made of gold chains surgically implanted into his head. And wait till you hear what his rival Silver Pubes went and did. Doctors say drilling into Goldilocks' skull was completely safe because there was no brain inside of it. A new study found that squirrels have individual unique personalities. The study was done by an angry old woman watching her bird feeder. The health minister of the UK has decided the country will not require vaccine passports and will not enact any further lockdowns. So we are now less free than the country we left to become more free. In a viral tweet, Nicki Minaj claimed that her cousin's friend became impotent and his testicles swelled up after getting the COVID vaccine. But Dr. Fauci assured the country that this is misinformation, the vaccine is totally safe, it doesn't make your balls swell up, and his penis totally definitely still works. Now that was a fake picture, but it would explain why every time he's on TV you only ever see him from here up. Prince Andrew is insisting that sexual assault papers filed against him are invalid because they weren't served properly. Specifically, the lawyers didn't have their pinky politely extended as they handed him his rape charges. Then they have to curtsy afterwards. An FBI agent involved in the Governor Whitmer kidnapping operation was fired for beating his wife at a swingers party. His boss found out about the beating because like the Whitmer kidnapping plot, everyone at the swingers party turned out to be an FBI agent. When asked to comment on the story, Governor Whitmer said that she does not approve of violent swingers parties, but is always open to putting Michigan in bondage. 58-year-old Evander Holyfield was knocked out in the first round of his comeback fight on Tuesday. He got punched so hard his ear is still ringing. Holyfield was knocked out shortly after 9.30 p.m., which is still a lot later than most people his age stay awake. Facelifts and cosmetic plastic surgery are becoming more popular among young men. In fact, when it comes to millennial men, plastic surgery is literally the only work they're getting done. Jay Leno will soon return to TV to host a revival of the game show You Bet Your Life. 
You Bet Your Life was previously hosted by Bill Cosby, so this continues Leno's long tradition of taking other people's shows. Hmm. It's always weird when Bill Cosby is in the setup, but the punchline isn't about Bill Cosby. The Evangelical Lutheran Church in America just installed its first trans bishop. I used to be a member of the ELCA until I myself transitioned to a church that adheres to scripture. Go LCMS! At the Met Gala, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez wore a white dress that had Tax the Rich written across her rear end, and Kim Kardashian wore a black dress that had the entire tax code of the United States written across her rear end. In his new movie, Clint Eastwood, who is 91, throws punches and rides a horse. It's called Escape from the Nursing Home. Conor McGregor got into an altercation with Machine Gun Kelly at the VMA red carpet, and Goldilocks and Silver Pubes tangled as well. A new biotech company called Colossal is trying to bring back the woolly mammoth just so they can cry that climate change is going to kill their woolly mammoth. Tragically, the only thing they've succeeded in bringing back so far is Jenkos. But if they do succeed in bringing back these fossilized animals, hopefully they can also bring back this old chunk of coal. Scientists in New Zealand potty trained cows to use a special bovine toilet. And get this, in New Zealand, bovine toilets flush counterclockwise. Caitlyn Jenner, who ran in the California recall election, only received 1.2% of the vote. So Caitlyn Jenner won't become governor, but may still become a bishop in the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Thanks to inflation and food shortages, food prices around the world have hit a 50-year high. Chicken now costs $3.52 a pound, beef now costs $4.63 a pound, and McFlurries cost $7,000. A new poll found that Democrats see Trump supporters and the unvaccinated as the greatest threat facing the nation. Oh, if only there was some evidence that a greater threat existed. It reminds me of that tragedy. 